Haven't got much time on your hands. Got loads of orc boys to paint. Well, here is a quick and dirty way in which you can paint orc boys. Hello. So, as I said in the intro there, I'm going to be showing you a quick and dirty way to show to paint your orc boys. Before I say that, uh, before I show you that, um, if you'd like to um, find more videos like this one, um, or any money saving tips or anything like that, I've got a lot of uh, content related to that on the channel, so please subscribe and remember to hit the bell button so you can hear more videos like this. So, without further ado, I start rather unsurprisingly by spraying black. Obviously this is a really quick way. Um, spray it black and good thing about this is uh, a lot of the clothes in this technique are black so you put a lot of corners doing it this way. So start with black. Most people have black to spray uh, to start off with anyway so that's a standard step. So we start with that. The next step is to paint uh, Castellan Green. Now this is a step you can actually skip this paint here, Castellan Green, Castellan, Castellan, Castellan. Uh, you can skip this, but I think it adds a little bit more depth in a quick way. So you, you could completely skip this step. It's not entirely integral. Uh, so that's, there we go. That's the next step. The third step is uh, to paint over that skin um, with Warpstone Glow, which I'll show you in one second. Warpstone Glow. There we go. So that's a layer paint. Paint, speak English. Um, now, the reason I start with the skin is because often the skin is the bit that's right underneath and higgledy piggledy here and there. Um, but I don't um, focus on doing this really neat. Uh, the thing with this technique is do it fast. Um, one, the paint on, so if you get a little bit there, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. There will be a clean up phase later on, but that's, um, I'll explain that later. Uh, the next step is the metals. This one is done with lead belcher, um, just for fun. I'll show you it here. Probably seen this well loads before. So again, it's you know simple paint, simple technique. Go over the metal, uh, anything that you want to be metal. Um, like the little chain bit coming off his gun. Um, and there we go. So that's the dude with the metal. The next step is again this part's detail. So this one is. Um, preferential to what your army colour is, so if you have death skulls, you know, use some form of blue, um, if it's speed freaks, or any such things like that, um, use red. Uh, but for me, because um, I like orange, I'm a bit ginger, um, I went for chocolate orange. So with this one, basically you just go over anything that you want um, being an orange. So sometimes it'll be a wristband, sometimes the side of a gun, the main a part of the blade, or the chopper, um, or it could just be a shoulder pad. So you can do what you want with this bit, you know. Um, as you can see, super lazy, but the clothes are all still black. I haven't done anything with um, any leather straps or anything like that. It gets it done quick. And as you can see there, there's some green. I just wand the paint on, and as I said, there's a clean phase later. So that's again speed like. So we're getting close to the end now. So don't judge. Um, <laughs> but this um, is literally again. Slap, slap the paint on relatively as best I can. Come on, focus. I'm gonna focus. Come on. Yeah. So um, there we go. I am at this point here. I've done the teeth and the eyes again. Um, as you can see, the red is well beyond the eyeball. Um, but again, there's a clean up bit in a second. And um, for the white, for the white, I didn't really use white. I used celestial grey. Um, because obviously they're not always straight white. Um. Not many people's teeth are, if I'm brutally honest, especially if you uh, <laughs> live in London, you're looking from America. Um, so, um, and then the next bit of the eyes is the Evil Sun Scarlet, that's a layer paint. Um, again, one it on, get it done. Uh, the next step is clean up. So what you do is you go back over um, with your greens, um, any of your metals, anything that you've gone over, or if you need to go over with an orange again, you do that. And then... The last step is the liquid talent phase, uh, which is the, I use, uh, Abrex Air Shed, and I use that for every single model. And with these, it's not so bad if you go a little bit heavy on them, if it lets the, the, 
blades look a bit grimy. Now, don't get me wrong, I mean, as a preference, some people might look at this and go, oh my god, oh my god, golly gosh, that is uh, abysmal. But, it does the job. As you can see, uh, the wash has gone into the recess and all that, so, um, I do think the the undertone of the light green comes out a bit better on here, um, so that's why that bit is done in my technique anyway. So you could skip that all together and just do the light green. Um, if I'm honest, for a, for a fast orc boy, um, if in roughly, again, depending on what I'm watching, I'm going to sit and watch something on a night, me and the wife, and I will put about five, maybe ten orc boys done um, in a two to three hour session. Um, so it's pretty quick. Um, it's easy to start with five, I'm not going to lie to you. So do five until you get the technique down. The old boy says so. Um, basically, that's it. That's the quick and dirty way. Um, in a couple of steps, a couple of paints, you can even skip some of these bits. Um, like the eyes and teeth, you can maybe just do the eyes or something like that. It's up to you. Um, so if you like it, put one of them. If you don't, put one of them bad boys on. Um, put in the comments what you do to make your painting easier, faster, or any such like. Um, the video's going on a bit long now, so I will wish you goodbye and. Good health. See you later.